Hey, in this fun video, let's see uh, what it takes to combine two shapes together. So I'm going to go to my sculpting uh, tab here, and then I'm going to click on this button here, content browser. And when you do, um, if you go to animals, let's just for fun, pick a couple different animals. So I'm going to pick maybe the horse. Why not? And let's get uh, this guy. All right, so I have two animals and I can scale the second one so it matches better uh, with the scale of the horse. And let's say I want to, uh, for whatever reason, combine these two into some uh, hybrid animal, right? So how do we do this in Maya? So I'm gonna close my content browser and uh, let's think about this. So. Let's say we want to take maybe the front of the horse and combine it with, I don't know, maybe the back of this guy, right? So one of the things uh, you would need to do is make sure that the number of edges is the same for both shapes when you're combining. So if I double click on this edge here, I can see in my heads up display that there's 24 edges, right? And if I double click on this one, you can see that this one has 20, right? So that means this has four more edges, which we need to remove in order for this to be a seamless uh, you know, connection, right? So one of the uh, things I'm gonna do is actually, let's go ahead and double click on these faces here, press delete, and I'm just gonna remove the whole back side. And I'm gonna do the same thing uh, here. Just maybe remove the entire front. So. Now what I'd like to do is I'm going to move this closer in and let's say we want to merge this into some kind of a crazy animal. So one thing I could do is if I double click on this edge, I can grab my uh, scale tool. I'm going to make sure my symmetry is not on. And what I'm going to do is let's go to soft select and maybe check this out. So. I'm gonna leave the surface on and maybe ramp this up a little bit and let's go ahead and scale this down so it matches with the body a little more. Maybe I can put it in position. I can also scale it this way so it's a little cleaner. Move it into position. I can do the same thing on this side. I can double click on this edge and maybe scale this up a little bit and also move it into position. So I have something like this, right? Now, again, we need to make sure that the number of edges is the same before we connect these two, right? So how do we do this? Well, one of the things we could do is if we just, uh, I'm gonna press B on my keyboard to turn off soft select, and I'm gonna turn off the grid uh, button here so I could see a little better. And one of the things I could do is I can go to my vertex mode and if I go to poly modeling, I can grab uh, this tool here. And maybe I can just for the sake of this exercise, bring this point to the middle and bring this point to the middle. And now if I double click on my edge, you can see that I have 22 and this one still has 20, right? So let's do this one more time. Maybe I can also do the same thing with something here. So maybe I'll bring this guy over here. And if we wanted to, we can actually turn on the symmetry so we can do it at the same uh, time on both sides, right? Okay. So my only uh, goal here is to get the edges to 20, which I did. And if I double click on this, this has 20 as well. All right, so how do we make the connection? Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on one of the shapes, hold down the shift key, select the other shape, and just do a combine by clicking this button here. Now it's merged into one. All right, now if I double click on this edge, hold down the shift and double click on this edge, I can simply click on this bridge button right here. Once you press it, you can see that the connection has been made and initially it looks kind of odd and maybe not very uh, attractive, but uh, that's okay. You can do a couple things. You can A, add divisions, and the green just means there is no material applied, so you'll have to reset the material if you're adding more edges. Uh, I don't really need more edges. Uh, you can also twist this, 
and I don't need to do that either. So I'm actually going to leave this alone. I'm going to go to object mode and let's just go ahead and clean this up. So the best way to clean this up is definitely going to sculpting, grabbing our uh, smooth brush and let's go ahead and click on smooth brush and the size of the brush if you press the B you can make this a little larger you can control the strength and my active symmetry is on so I'm just gonna clean this up kind of sculpt this into something that is distributed a little better And I don't know what kind of animal this is, but that's not the point. I'm just showing you the um, the technique for combining two different uh, sh organic shapes together. So here we are, we have something like this. Now to clean this up, you can see that this has hard edges and everything else is soft. Just simply select the mesh. And under modeling, if you go to mesh display, you can do soft edges. And that kind of cleans it up. To get rid of this um, material, you can of course assign a new one doesn't really matter uh, what it is let's go ahead and maybe make it I don't know uh, it doesn't really matter I'm gonna make it kind of bluish just to show you uh, how simple and easy it is and very quickly you can create uh, even uh, you know like a base shape now you can take this and model more detail bring it into Substance Painter, do awesome textures, or bring it to ZBrush and create your own crazy uh, monster. Maybe add some wings and just go crazy. All right, so uh, I'm hoping this was helpful and uh, fun, and I'll see you guys in the next video.